Thank you so much, Kevin, for that wonderful introduction. What a privilege it is to be with all of you today. I know that we live in unusual times, so we're doing this remotely, but it really is my privilege to be a part of this great celebration. And so to Verizon Georgia Territory Pride Land Group, as well as the Atlanta Central District, we welcome all of you today. We're gathered to honor and celebrate the 2020 graduates of Verizon employees and their families. What a time of celebration. And even though we do it unconventionally today, it doesn't diminish our uh, joy about celebrating such a wonderful, wonderful accomplishment. And so with that, I want to also acknowledge and thank that our director, Mark Conley, the district manager, uh, Jacinda, Jack Dennis, the eight store locations of the Atlanta Central District, all the general managers, solution managers, solution specialists, support teams, and their families. Thank you all so very much for being a part of this great celebration. I'm particularly grateful that you invited me to share some thoughts today as we celebrate the 2020 graduates what a milestone in each of your lives. And I want to first say thank you to the families who have supported you to get to this place of celebration. And so a great thank you to all the families who have supported you to get to this landmark. I want to just spend a few minutes talking about dreaming big bold dreams. And I know that people are at various levels of their education. We have some high school graduates, some college graduates, some postgraduates here, but it really all boils down to you believing in yourself and being able to dream big, bold dreams. And so I'm going to dare you today. I'm going to dare you to think about what that means and what are your goals in your life. People used to ask me when I was graduating from high school, well, what are you going to do next? And when I graduated from college, what are you going to do next? And when I graduated from law school, what are you going to do next? And sometimes that wasn't always clear, but as long as you know that you really have a particular purpose and that you're looking to fulfill that purpose, that's what's important. One of my very, very famous quotes of all times is that of Dr. Martin Luther King, and I'm gonna paraphrase it slightly today. Basically, the quote says, the measure of a man or a woman is not where you stand in times of comfort and convenience, but rather where you stand in times of challenge and controversy. And frankly, that's where we are in this world right now. We have never seen the kind of pandemic that we're navigating and trying to understand. But let me just remind us that hard times then really demand that we hold deep in our souls and that we stand up and that we meet those challenges. And so I'll just simply say, do not discourage through this. I know that we would all rather be doing big graduation celebrations and all, all together celebrating. And so much of that has to be postponed because of the crisis that we're facing. But that does not diminish for one second the great accomplishments that each of you has achieved to get to this point. And that is why we celebrate you today. And so I want to talk a little bit about the urgency of now and remind you, again, even though they're challenging and very different times, times that you've not seen before, that you still have bold dreams. And that I would encourage you, not only encourage you, I will dare you to hold on and to reach for those dreams. I heard a story uh, recently as people were talking about this pandemic. It's an interesting story that talked about having 2020 vision. And I thought, what an interesting correlation to the year 2020 and having 2020 vision for the world. And so perhaps we will come out of this, this is certainly my prayer, that we will come out of this pandemic really being more sensitive to the needs of our fellow human beings. And being a human being does not mean that you just are in your own world, but that you care about the people around you, whether it's in your workplace or whether it's in your home, your family, your neighborhood, your friends. 
And so I want to end because I know that I am standing between you and this great next part of the celebration. But I want you to really go into this uh, phase of your life, this next phase of your life, really being clear with 2020 vision about what your priorities are and what you are prepared to give to the world because each of you brings such amazing, magnificent gifts. So with that, I will end and say congratulations and that I am enormously proud of each and every one of you. And again, I thank you for allowing me these few minutes to share in this celebration. And now we're gonna celebrate the graduates from the Decatur location the family of Jasmine Bennett, Solution Specialist, and Ben Johnson, South Cobb High School. Next, we're gonna celebrate Makari Devalier, Blossom Creekside High School. Congratulations to Leslie Bennett, Masters of History and Sociology, Georgia Tech. Now we'll move to our West Midtown location Congratulations to the family of Sam Amos, General Manager, as well as Dr. Whitney Giles, Howard University College of Dentistry. Next, we will celebrate Shauna Burton, American University. Next, we will celebrate the family of Brandon Johnson, Jada Johnson, Luella High School. Next, we will celebrate Amina Brent, Solutions Specialist, Strayer University. And now we will move to the perimeter location. Congratulations to Patricia Bass, General Manager, Strayer University. Then next, we have our Ponce de Leon location. Nadir Lalani, Lead Solutions Specialist, University of Alabama at the Birmingham location. Masters of Science in Management Information System, Cybersecurity. Then at our Buckhead location, congratulations to the family of Jamila Carter, Solutions Manager, and Jaden Crosby, who graduated from high school and will be attending North Carolina A&T. And then we have congratulations to Kevin Neal, General Manager graduating with honors, I may add, from Strayer University. And I must on a personal note say that I've known Kevin for many, many years, and I am enormously proud. And so again, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this celebration. I wish each of you enormous success and continued blessings. And Kevin, now I will turn it back over to you. And thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this celebration.